Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Docker tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about how does Docker works and we will see some commands related to Docker and Docker images. So as I have told you in the earlier videos also, you can build your Docker images that holds your applications using Docker files. And then you can create your Docker containers from those Docker images to run your applications. And then you can share your Docker images via Docker Hub or via your private registry. Now, if you want to see this Docker flow in the form of a diagram, you can uh, see this diagram here. So you can create a Docker file, which we are going to see how we can create a Docker file in the later videos. So Docker file is a file from which you can build your applications into Docker images. So what happens is you pull some images which are already there on the Docker hub and you use those images with your application and you write all that uh, code or that script inside your Docker file. So how will your application run inside a container? You write everything in a Docker file and then you build your Docker file, which will create a Docker image. And when you run your Docker image, it will be converted to a Docker container. Now let's see some commands related to Docker. So the first command which I want to show you is the docker search command. So you just write docker search and then you give your options. For example, whatever uh, image you want to uh, fetch from your docker hub, you can uh, just write that uh, image name. For example, I just write uh, Ubuntu here. So you can search all the images which are there related to Ubuntu on Docker Hub using this command. So Docker search Ubuntu. So when you give Docker search Ubuntu, you will see this kind of uh, result in the form of a table. And uh, the first column here is the name. The second column here is the description. Third is the number of stars. And if the image have more number of stars, then it's more popular. Also, you have the column for official. So if you see uh, OK under official for a particular image. So for example, this first image with the name Ubuntu is the official image on Docker Hub. And you can also see some description here. So clearly, uh, this first image which is an official image also is the most popular image on docker hub about ubuntu now let's see some options which are related to docker search so i'm going to just write docker search here and then i can give the filter option which we use to filter our results so i'm going to just write uh, filter here so let's say we want to filter our result on the basis of stars an image ha have on the Docker Hub. So I can just write uh, stars here is equal to three and then the name of an image I'm searching for. So for example, I'm searching for Ubuntu here. So I will just write Ubuntu. And this example will display the images with the name Ubuntu and which have at least three stars. So I'm going to just press enter. So you can see all the result of the images which have at least three stars. Now, if you give here, let's say number of star is equal to 100. So it's going to search for all the images which have at least 100 stars. Now, if you want to give more than one filter, you can add uh, this, this filter option once again. So you can uh, just write hyphen hyphen uh, filter and then the next filter. So the first filter we have here is for uh, the stars and the second filter I have added here is for 
the official image so i just want all the images which are official so that's why i have uh, just given this uh, filter which is is official is equal to true and then i'm going to just press enter and i will only see the official uh, images which are present on the docker hub and which have more than uh, 100 stars in a similar way i can also search for automated image which are not official but uh, which are there by some users which are there on uh, uh, docker hub right so it's going to show you all the images which are not official but automated now there is uh, this option which is called uh, no trunk also which is going to show you the description without truncating uh, this description so right now you can see in the description you see this description and these three dots so that means this description have uh, more uh, content in the description so i can uh, just uh, give this option which is no trunk which is not going to truncate this description and it's going to show you uh, the full description here so sometimes this uh, option can get really messy if the description is really large. So uh, just use it wisely. Now instead of this hyphen hyphen filter, you can also simply write uh, hyphen F for uh, the filter option. So either you can uh, just give the full filter option or you can just give hyphen F for the filter and the result will be the same. Now the next command which I'm going to show you here is the docker images. So I'm going to just write uh, docker images and this command we use to list out all the local images you have on your host. So when you give this command docker images, it's going to give you all the images which you have on your host as I said. And right now I only have uh, one uh, image which is hello world image which we have pulled in the previous videos when i have shown you how to install docker on your uh, various operating system so right now uh, i only have uh, one docker image which is hello world now there are some options which are uh, related to uh, docker images so we are going to see all those options one by one so with this docker images option you can give the name of the image now let's say i give here the option java so you can list the images using the name or the tag so when you give this docker images java command it's going to search all the images related to java and you can see there is no image which is related to java on my host machine so let's pull uh, the java image from the docker hub so i'm going to just write uh, docker here and then uh, pull so the pull command you can use to pull an image or a repository from uh, docker hub or from your private repository so i'm going to just pull uh, the java image from the docker hub so you can see when you give this docker pull uh, uh, java command it's going to pull always the latest tagged image from the docker hub and in the output also you can see using default tag so the default tag is always the latest tag that's why it's going to pull the latest java uh, image so now you can see uh, this java image with the latest tag is downloaded on my host so let me uh, clear the terminal and now i'm going to give uh, the docker images command once again so docker images and now i have the java image with the tag latest and the hello world image with the tag latest so now i can use uh, the docker images and then uh, the name of the image also so i can search uh, based on the name of the image also so i can just write uh, docker images java which is going to just give me 
the images which are related to Java. I can also uh, search with the image name and the tag. So let's say I want to search for the Java image which have the tag uh, let's say 8 which is not present on my uh, host. So it's going to give you the empty result without any image. If you give the tag which is present, so the latest tag is uh, present on my host. So it's going to give you the Java image with the latest tag. So let me give the Docker images command once again. And you can see by default in the result, you will see the name of the repository or an image, then the tag of uh, that image, and then the image ID. This ID is very uh, useful when you have a multiple uh, image uh, related to let's say Java. So you can use this image ID to remove that image or work with that image. So that's uh, why this ID is uh, important. Also, you can uh, see when this image is created and the size of the image. So the different images with different tag have different sizes. So sometimes you want the images with uh, the less uh, size or sometimes you want the images which have the full feature. So in that case, you can uh, use a uh, different kind of uh, uh, image with different tag, which suits your requirement for your application. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see some more features about Docker. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.